Welcome everyone to Rogue Guide 7.1. My name is Anomalous and it gives me immense pleasure to do this guide for you guys. Because Rogue is my favorite class of all time. As you can see this guide is gonna be different than all the other guides. Because Rogue is uh, so much different than any other class. I can and I will give you talents. Honor talents, macros, and artifact uh, trait abilities, artifact power, and artifact weapon build. Right? Tree. Uh, but uh, first, I want uh, to show you guys how to play a rogue. You can't uh, teach that on uh, just by giving talents and explaining them, actually. So, you're gonna see how to play a rogue on an example. Okay, here's a killer. Shadow step dot him. You don't want to engage your squishy. See? They touched me and I lost like one sixth of my HP. What am I doing? I'm throwing a knife. Why am I throwing a knife? Because I'm applying dots. Now you can go. Mutilate, mutilate, mutilate. Utilate kidney shot. We'll talk about this later. It's called King King's Vein. Okay, he's dead. Run away. Can't do shit here. Especially against these guys. These guys will wreck you. Okay. How are things? You can go. Dot him. Is he a healer? Nope. Nope. Mutilate, mutilate, mutilate. You haven't bursted yet. You can't really uh, dot these guys, but apparently he doesn't have the talent called Pure of Heart. I'm gonna talk about that later. Okay, healer, full kidney, vendetta, burst him, drink it is, don't lose your burst, evasion, dot him, pressure him, King's Vein, okay, karma, run away. Also, when you run away, you can just hit them with your throne. Heal yourself. This guy is also using the karma. Run away. Don't kill your teammates. It's gone now. Grow him. Run away. Okay. I'm playing safe. So safe. As you can see. Okay. These guys are doing nothing. This guy is tank or whatever losing HP go I'm going extra with extra safe gameplay because I want to show you guys how squishy we are we're not exactly gla glass cannon but we are strong when we engage and you engage when you're when you're hundred percent sure you're gonna kill someone or a hundred percent sure they are not gonna kill you try and die Try and uh, get dying to, to the minimum, if you understand what I'm saying. Okay, they are wrecking us, but we don't care. I want to show you the gameplay. This guy's dead. Okay, don't want to engage here. I may engage here on this healer. I will die, however. Two healers. Okay, the DK is killing this one. He is in bear. Priest is healing him. Uh, when you're about to die, you try and uh, dot someone with the rupture. Because rupture is our biggest damage, actually biggest damaging spell. You can see how much it bleeds. So, this is the way how you play BGs. Actually, you don't, you can't be more aggressive than that. 
you can be aggressive when your when your team is winning and you are just in so much practice that you are sure that you have composure that you're sure you, you won't die and that you will get something out of the pressure okay this is a classic opener rupture you open with garrote don't open with uh, with chip shot in most in most cases because uh, you want to have full uh, you don't want to DR kidney you don't want to DR stun you want to have full kidney on the target so in almost all cases you open with the garrote you have to run away because get my HP stealth okay let's see the situation now we have one healer and two DPS rush towards the healer no one can see you, you're in stealth. This is how you play BGs. This guy's karma, leave him alone. You can go rupture the warrior. Shadow step rupture. Full kidney. Kingsbane. Pop defensives. Everyone's coming. You have to have a lot of awareness or you're dead. Some casual player would have stayed there and just died. I'm not saying I'm a pro, but I saw that they're coming and I ran away. Sap this guy, he's not doing damage. Go for healer. Open with Garot. Mutilate, mutilate, rupture, kick him. He's holy priest, actually. Nobody plays holy, but okay, fine. Full kidney, and now you're supposed to do damage. But this paladin is in your way. Try and kill him. Nope. Proc the bubble. Lock is on you, run away. You're dead. Actually, there is a whole army chasing you. Or am I? Yeah, I am. I fucked up. I should have ran. He just popped Serenity. I wanted to be a big guy and kill him. Didn't he vanish though. Alright, uh, this is actually how you play BGs. I of course, that being said, I will make uh, more videos. BG is, of course, in between the other things. Uh, you can't learn from one video. Let's face it, you can't learn a lot. I will, like I said, I will do more videos. Uh, but now, uh, let's let's uh, let's go to the next part of the guide, and uh, I will explain you uh, talents and uh, other stuff, macros and whatnot. Okay, you guys just saw a example of a BG. Uh, that's actually the place uh, where we are not the best. Uh, we reach our full potential in arenas. Uh, we are pretty much viable in twos as much as in trees. Uh, so that's that's where we shine. So uh, let's get on and uh, talk about talents. Uh, as you can see, this is uh, not uh, scripted. But uh, I'll still, I still have the self-confidence to do it. It's no problem at all. Uh, this is actually your uh, cookie cutter build. Uh, you change the first uh, tier uh, to elaborate planning when you're facing a paladin. Also, you go that from above when you're facing paladin, and also in all honor talents you go system shock when you're facing a paladin. Why? Because talent, uh, because of the, because Pala has a talent uh, that is called the Pure of Heart, and it d denies all your poison damage. So poisons mean nothing. And uh, the Cookie Cutter build is uh, actually Master Poisoner, and increases it increases uh, the damage done by your poison by 30%, and their non-damaging effects by 20. So that's the Cookie Cutter build. Other than that, Subterfuge is well-known talent. I'm not going to talk about that. Uh, Viger is. Uh, uh, energy, 
increase talent by 50% and energy regeneration by 10%. Elusiveness, you spam faint. And you get 30% uh, 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 reduced damage taken. Uh, this here is also a bleed, bleeds after kidney shot. Uh, level 90 tier talent is actually. Uh, Okay, so apparently I haven't noticed that my webcam is blocking the talents. Uh, so uh, here is actually again the cookie cutter build. Uh, you couldn't see agonizing poison, which is a burst oriented uh, talent, and venom rush. Venom rush uh, gives you additional energy when the target ticks uh, with poisons, so you always want to have that. Uh, and um, you always want to have that. Uh, just uh, don't when you face. Uh, oh my God! Uh, you always want to have an rush. <laughs> uh, just don't uh, use it against paladins. You use uh, that from above. It doesn't do damage, but uh, it does. I mean, of course, it does damage, but it's better than nothing actually. So you go elaborate planning that from above. Oh, I can change here. And system shock against pala. Every pala team, so it doesn't matter if it's holy, uh, prot, or or ret. It doesn't matter. All they all have uh, the talent called pure of heart, and uh, it denies your whole damage uh, with poisons, with deadly or agonizing or whatever. Apart from that, uh, so the cookie cutter build is this. Actually, the min max I talked about. You can go ex exsanguinate. Uh, when you want uh, your dots to bleed faster, 100% faster, uh, that's like, of course, so that's uh, actually uh, burst orient the talent, just like agonizing. As for honor talents, uh, these three are actually a lot, a lot of situation, situational, so to say. If you're an orc, you can go always relentless. If you're human, you can also go relentless because you have uh, every man for himself trinket. It's now uh, it's redesigned, so it uh, now just removes uh, all stun effects. Uh, but 90% uh, of uh, the legion CC is uh, stun, and uh, your healer in arena can't uh, dispel every stun, so it's GG to have it. You can go Adaptation or Gladiator's Medallion when you want that uh, big, big, uh, big CC out of uh, when you are actually uh, maybe bur maybe bursted. But uh, I would recommend for Rogue uh, go either Gladiator's Medallion or Relentless. Uh, second tier talent is actually Sparring when you're facing two melee opponents that do physical damage. So you want, for example, in trees or in twos, whatever. Uh, in uh, BGs, I guess you should go reinforced armor, just uh, that health, get that health increase. You can go also hardiness, but in BGs it's not that important. Uh, this stunt uh, is also uh, very situational. You can uh, pick between the three. Uh, it it really varies. For example. When you when you know you're not gonna get focused, uh, but you can get a switch to use hardiness because you're gonna take 20% less damage. Uh, sparring, uh, I said you you go uh, sparring when you want uh, that uh, uh, physical damage ability, and reinforced armor. I guess I guess you should just go with it uh, in BGs. It doesn't really help you that much. Uh, cut to the chase or maneuverability. Is the choice here? Never go intent to kill. Uh, maneuverability: you go when you don't need to sit on the target, uh, and when you want uh, that uh, additional kiting mobility. Uh, so sprint uh, actually suppresses all movement uh, impairing effects for four seconds when used. You have four seconds of uh, additional movement. You can't uh, you can't be touched in that four seconds. You can be movement impaired. Uh, cut to the chase. You use it when you want to chase someone, right? Uh, you exceed the uh, 
the target speed by 5% at each given time that they move uh, faster than you. Uh, unfair advantage is here the choice, it's cookie cutter, you always use unfair advantage, you don't use honor among thieves or turn the tables ever. Uh, deadly brew of course is cookie cutter, don't use my naming, don't use shiv, uh, here you use creeping poison always except uh, when fighting paladins, then you go with system shock, because the paladin actually dispels it. We talked about that. Okay, that's it uh, for the talents and honor talents. Now let's talk about uh, artifact tree, Artif artifact build. Uh, it's interesting that the rogue uh, has uh, all three major uh, traits. Uh, that uh, that all three major traits are GG are good for rogue. So all three are, are usable. I would have to say, in my opinion, uh, that uh, bag of tricks you should go first. So from here, Kingsbane, you go right through here, take this path, and first go bag of tricks. It just does crazy pressure on a target. I love it. I I I just love this talent so much. Uh, so when you use mutilate, I mean and venom, when you use venom, it has a chance to proc a pool, acidic pool. That deals damage uh, over three seconds, so it's it's rather fast. It's not ticking slow. It deals uh, 450k, it says here, but it, it can uh, do more, I think, uh, over three seconds to all enemies. It can break CC though, but uh, it's still it's still GG. You'll see when you get it. Other than that, this is uh, also a bigger uh, artifact trait, a greater trait. Blood of the assassinated. It uh, it increases your rupture damage by 100% uh, for 10 seconds. Uh, the third one is uh, actually a uh, proc, a proc perk, if you will. Uh, it procs on a target uh, when you use a vendetta, and uh, it procs uh, always, right? It doesn't have a chance. So always when you say, says when you are declaring vendetta on a target. Uh, it unleashes uh, poison daggers on a target that deal X amount of damage over 20 seconds. So uh, the daggers are chasing it. You don't have to be on the target when you vendetta someone. This stunt is also great. So first you go back of tricks. Take this path right here. Back of tricks. Then you can go blood assassinated, and then from here, uh, from mutilate, you go. Uh, poison knives and uh, to the to this perk fr uh, from the shadows. It's called. Okay, what's left? Macros, right? Macros and did I forget something? I think not. I think not. Okay, for macros, I'm not going to read, of course, all of them. Uh, you just uh, need to remember that you need uh, focus kick. Focus Shadow Step Kick, Focus Sap, Focus uh, Garrot, Focus Chip Shot, Focus uh, Rapture, and Focus Kidney. Uh, why do you need that? Because you don't want to click on every target that you want to Sap, Rapture, Kidney, uh, Chip Shot, Kidney Shot, and so on. You don't want that, especially in twos. When you play twos, you you are almost always on a healer, and you want to uh, spread pressure when the uh, when the uh, the enemy DPS uh, uh, wants to uh, peel your peel the healer, so when he comes to hit you, you just uh, you don't click it. You have it on your focus, and you just uh, uh, spend your combo points on rupture, on uh, chip shot, on full kidney shot, and so on. So I will actually give you one. One macro in the in the description, or I just I'll just put it in comments. So you just copy. It says uh, hashtag show tooltip uh, kick uh, uh, slash ca uh, cast focus, and then the borders. I don't know how it's called in English. Uh, uh, at focus uh, kick, and you just replace kick with I don't know rupture or whatever. It's it's the same. Every macro is the same. I guess we covered all.
I guess we covered all. Like I said, uh, you can't really learn to play from from the guide. It's 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 not possible. It's like uh, like the word says. It's a guide. So uh, this is just a guideline in uh, in which direction you you you're going to go. I will post, of course, more videos and try and uh, uh, try and uh, I guess teach you. But uh, practice is actually the 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 biggest teacher so just queue up and play this is some just some guidelines i guess